Hi, I'm Rob Blair, and I'm a bird biologist at the University of Minnesota. Today, we're going to learn about binoculars. And even better, we're going to learn how to use binoculars to see birds. Before we start anything, I want you to learn a little bit about the parts of a binocular. The most important part is the strap. Why is that important? Because you put it on your neck, and then you're not going to drop your binoculars on the sidewalk. Because if you do, you'll knock the prisms out of alignment, and then you'll have to buy a new pair of binoculars. There are several parts of binoculars that you need to know about to use them in the best way possible to see all those important parts of birds that you might want to see in trying to identify it. First of all, you need to learn about the lens caps. The lens caps are on the front of the binoculars as well as the back of the binoculars. If you don't take all of them off, you're only going to see black through one of them or both of them, and you're going to be really confused about using them your binoculars properly. The other parts of the binoculars that you need to know is that they pivot. They get narrow and they get wide. We'll see how and why you need to use this adjustment in just a second. The other parts of the binoculars that are important are the big focusing ring in between the two different oculars. And then we have a special focusing ring, the diopter ring, which is around the right ocular. Finally, you need to learn about eye cups. Eye cups are these adjustments that move up and down. In some binoculars, they fold back or pop out. And these adjust the distance between the glass of the lens and your eyeball. Because you need to be a little bit away from that glass of the lens with your eyeball, but not too far. So people with glasses, they specifically put the eye cups down so that they can take the binoculars and put them up directly against their glasses like I do. Other people who don't use glasses should have eye cups that are out and popped up because then they can take the binoculars and stick them right up against their face and get a good distance from the lens. Okay. The next important part of this is that some of you out there have eyes that are really close together and others of you out there have eyes that are really far apart. That's why binoculars do this. What you need to do is first figure out if you're wide-eyed or beady-eyed or something in between. And that's a good guess. And you put the binoculars up to your eyes and you adjust them back and forth. Unlike the James Bond movies where you, they show you people looking through binoculars and you see two circles, real binoculars, if they're adjusted properly, you only see one circle. And that is done by adjusting this. If you're seeing a half moon or two semicircles or two fuzzy things or a black area, the binoculars aren't at the proper width for your eyes. What you need to do is find that sweet spot where you can look through the binoculars, only see one circle, and then leave them alone. They're good for their width. Okay, now that you have the binoculars set for the distance between your eyes, we need to think about focusing. And believe it or not, your two eyes are different in the distances at which they focus you need to adjust your binoculars to make up for that difference. And there's actually a handy way to do that with all binoculars. First of all, I want you just to practice finding something and looking for it with your binoculars and using the big focusing ring to see that object. So I'm going to look at something nearby that doesn't move that I can find easily, and that's a park bench. And I use the big knob, the focusing ring, up at the top of the binoculars to bring that park bench into focus. Now that you have a hang of it, we need to adjust the two sides to make up for the differences between your eyes. And what I want you to do is first cover up with the lens cap the right side of your binoculars. And look at that object that you picked out and use the focusing ring by looking only through your left side and get that object, that park bench, in perfect focus. Step two, 
you need to take the lens cap off the right side, cover up with the lens cap on the left side, look at that object, that park bench, and this time focus on it with the diopter ring, that focusing ring that's on the right eyepiece, and get that bench in perfect focus. Once you do that, you don't touch that diopter ring again. Now you're ready to actually go looking for birds or park benches. Take your lens cap off the left side, find that park bench, look at it and focus it on it with your ring. Now that your binoculars are adjusted for your eyes, it should be amazingly clear. And after this, you need to start practicing how to find things in your binoculars. The easiest way is to look out, find whatever you're trying to find, and bring your binoculars up to your eyes as you're looking at it. Too many people think that they are just supposed to take their binoculars and start looking around the sky trying to find a bird and seeing that they can't because binoculars actually have a really narrow range of focus field of vision and you need to be able to see everything to know where those birds are. But once you do know where that bird is, you can bring your binoculars up to your face and see it pretty easily. Now after you're able to see a bird or a park bench that doesn't move, you need to practice following something that does move. My favorite is I like to spy on people walking by. I find them in my binoculars and as they're running by, I can track them because I know they're pretty easy to figure out which direction they're going to go. Birds, on the other hand, might fly any direction. It's harder to figure it out. So practice on people, or if you're nervous about practicing on people, practice on a car. Finally, you have to learn how to tell people how to see a bird. Because often you'll be told, look, there's a bird up in that tree, that tree. And if you look behind me, which tree is that? So when someone asks you or is pointing out a bird to you, use some vocabulary. Say the tree that's directly in front of me, five feet up and over to the left. That will start you on your adventure and finding birds. So that's all there is. Go adjust your binoculars and find a bird and look and see what it's doing. Thanks.